Hello, hello. I am back. It's still hot. It's all good. We're going to press just two pairs of socks. Let me get them ready. Um, the design came from MrSilky.com. The socks came from MrSilky.com. No, it's not called Mr. Silky. My bad. It's called SilkySocks.com. There we go. So, I pressed this one on a 13 by 19 paper just because of the length. Make sure when you put your jig up, you don't pull, you don't want it like that because then your design is like that. You got to make sure it's um, straight, flat across. And his socks are made for sublimation, so you don't have that heel problem back here like you would with Walmart socks and other socks. He took time in producting his socks and did a very good job on it. So, you put, always put your paper down. I'm going to have to adjust my pressure because... Um, um, what you call it? Um, do, 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 do. I didn't check. I didn't check my pressure. So let me do that real fast. Real fast. Let me check it real fast. Real fast. Good. Oh, let me change my time, my seconds. We did 30 seconds. There we go. 30 seconds. All right. So we're going to go ahead. Oops, we're going to have to go this way. Flip my sulk. make sure my paper reaches down there. I'll slide another one up here. There we go. Because this design is um, taped together. So let me just put another one right there. My press is 16 by 20 Swing Away Series from Heat Press Nation. Alright. Make sure. All right, let's do it. 380. 30 seconds. We're doing two pairs of socks today. I hope everybody's doing awesome. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. If you got any questions, ask. I am not a professional. I did not play one. Woo! There you go. So, you always want to make sure you roll your soap. Just a little. Just a little because you don't want that white on the side. So you want to make sure you roll your salt even on the toes. Make sure it's like that. And right there it's just white. And then you're going to flip and switch because you don't want to read them backwards. When you wear them, if you don't believe me, try it. Just roll, roll, roll your bow gently down the stream. There's a mirror, mirror, like this, such a dream. There we go. Line them back up. Get your paper again. This is a 13 by 19 paper.
I'm gonna make sure my writing is on the soak. All right. Make sure your heat is back to what it needs to be. 30 seconds. This one's I'm going to um I'm gonna cut. SilkySocks.com Let me get my other one ready. It is hot up in here. Hot up in here. Sure, I don't mix them up. <coughs> All right, slowly slide it off. The jig is hot. Slowly slide it off. All right. Um, move those over there. Change your paper out. These ones are different socks. These are his quarter ankle, I believe, dress socks. They got the black foot and the black heel. So we'll see how I had to manipulate the design a little bit because it was going to be white on the heel in the design. So we'll see if I nailed it or not. I always print out on copy paper when it's possible just to put my item on my sock. To make sure that it's the measurement or what um, I want them to be. Make sure if your heels stick out, tuck it in. Make it look like lips. Make it look like lips. Lips are up. This one will, um, you'll have a little, um, make sure your pressure is right. All right. All right. So this is the front. So let's go ahead. Put this on the front. Oh, you know what? Let me adjust my um, heat. I'm using the other paper. So we're gonna go drop it down. 370. There we go. So let it let, let we gotta let it cool down too. Okay, and while that's cooling down, I can um make sure I line this up right where I want it to be. There we go. temperature drops real fast. Mm -hmm. 
30 seconds. Get the next one ready. Let's look at these soaks while that is cooking. These are the streetwear socks. No white lines. On the side, you always will get that overlap. Depending on what design, you'll get it less or more. All right. What? Yeah, buddy. There we go. And now you're just going to roll the sides. I don't think my back is going to line up with the front because that's where I move stuff because it's a layer file he said. So I, I adjusted and tried to put the black where the heel was. So we'll see how I did on that. Make sure you rolled enough. You know, get the white lines. And then switch spots. Try to put it back right where it was. If not, change your paper out. There we go. Make sure your lips are tucked in an upward position. Let me see. Okay. I think I might have nailed it. Because I'm it's supposed to be white where this is. And um I adjusted it, so we'll see. We will see, we will see. 370, 30 seconds. Ooh, 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 ooh. Street wear socks, all the way sublimatable. Very cozy. Comfy inside. Let's see what these ones. These are the dress socks. Quarters. They'll go all the way up. Let me shut my press off. Go ahead and turn the air back on. Perfect. Perfect. It worked out for me. So this is what all was supposed to be white right here, but I manipulated, made this smaller, made that bigger, and brought it down. So not too bad. So you can see where I adjusted it. That's why I didn't think it was gonna line up on the side. But it's all good, it's all good. All good, all good. There you go, USA. They still haunt. You want the design? Go to silkysocks.com. You want some blanks? Go to silkysocks.com. These jigs were heat press nation a few years back. I don't know if they have them anymore. Alrighty. So there's that silk. We did this sock, that sock. I'll go like that, then you can see the whole effect. There you go. Hit like, subscribe, share. See what I come up with next time. Everyone have a good one. Until then, bye.